Well, I'm on the road again, and uh, this time heading north. And this video is going to be out of sequence because I should have been going over to the Cotswold to do episode two, maybe three and four. But um, on Tuesday last, I had to go for my COVID boosted uh, jab and it knocked me about for the next few days <laughs> so I didn't get over there and I can't postpone this trip because I've got something special booked which I hope, I hope is going to take place tomorrow and it's going to take place in Snowdonia which is another place that Steve Moore uh, suggested I should have a look at and I'm hoping that I can see it from a completely different perspective but um, we'll have to see what the weather's like and everything tomorrow in the meantime I'm not going the quickest way or the shortest way because I've been those roads so many times recently it's getting boring so I'm going up this way, it takes me uh, to Hereford and then on up to uh, Shrewsbury or Shrewsbury depending on which side of the river you come from and then uh, across to Betsy Cohen. And I've got two nights booked in a very very nice campsite, I've stayed there a few times before and the only pitch they had available for me was a, a super pitch which has got everything on it uh, including a TV aerial extension socket but I don't use that anyway so uh, I just use my, my laptop and <coughs> my little Wi-Fi dongle little mini hub so anyway I'll just keep going now and see it's going to be about four hours or a bit more than four hours from here and the first hold up is there right in front of me oh no what's going on here <coughs> road works by the look of it and the lights have just turned green so uh, I don't know where we're going to get through on this one are we going to make it stay green please stay green stay green please We're going to get through. We're going to get through. We did. The time's now just coming up to 2 p.m. And I had been aiming for a stop because I'm getting a bit hungry uh, at Monford Bridge picnic area. And I turned in. I saw the signs, and I thought, "Oh yeah, I'm there." And then I turned in and saw this. It's closed, it's closed, it's closed. So I parked up right next to the gate and I'm going to make myself a sandwich. And there we are, a cheese and tomato sandwich. I'll sit and eat that. And yes, I was ready for it. Mmm, lovely. According to the sat nav, I should be there just after half past three. And uh, one hour and 35 minutes to drive. And I've got 57 miles, so not too bad. We got on the way again now. Well, a good sandwich that was. I'm on the A5 now, uh, what is also known as Watling Street. The Romans built a road from London to Holyhead, and uh, it was called Watling Street. And the traffic is uh, pretty heavy, much heavier than I expected this time of day lots and lots of lorries out so somebody obviously found some HGV drivers we're approaching Langothlin now and uh, it's the home of um, the Ice Stedford and the block model railway makers will know that it used to be the home of Dapple to the right here that takes you down to the river on the other side of the river there's the canal we're going straight on today with 32 miles left it's 
an interesting drive, plenty of twists and turns, uh, and you can't drive very fast here. This one is uh, about 180 degrees. And finally, we're on the road down to the campsite, Riverside Campsite. It's very nice indeed. And here we are, Riverside Campsite. First of all, past these statics. They are a bit packed in, these are, but they're nice. Stop here, check in. There's a reception. Oh, that's Gwendolyn all set up on pitch 50. I've got a good, good bit of space. It's a nice sight. Nice views up there. And the weather's looking quite good at the moment. Let's hope it's good tomorrow. That'd be really nice. Well, I've just been downloading or uploading, whichever it is, um, some other footage that I've done today and making sure that uh, I've got something decent to edit. First we had to make sure that nothing's missing from the scene. But now I'm going to go into town and uh, maybe grab a meal or something. We'll have a look. Some of them have got quite substantial gardens around them. Very nice. I drained us. And there's a sign, sorry, site now full. As is the graveyard next door. Railway lovers, there's the main station on the main line. And there's a, a miniature railway here as well. It's not running now, it's too late. And it is featured on one of my other videos and there's the miniature railway station and at the station there's this uh, railway shop and museum and I'll tell you it's a really really good model railway shop with an interesting museum at the back of it but now it's time to keep walking into town let's see if we can get something to eat something interesting like fish and chips it is Friday after all. The first time I crossed the international date line I was a cadet on the ship and I was on the bridge at the time and the captain said to the doctor uh, which day shall we leave out before we get to Australia? And the doctor said I'm Catholic and I don't like fish can we leave Friday out? And so we did. No fish. Well, it's a very pleasant walk from the campsite up into the town. I think you had to call it a town because it is quite large. We had to walk across that bridge which crosses the railway line. Single track. And I put this bit in for people who like to collect bridge numbers. There's tomorrow, the bridge number. When I come down that road there, I've got to head off up that way. But tonight I'm going this way. Well, that's an interesting looking place. But they do uh, pizzas. Where's the sign? I mean, it's got to be somewhere along this street. It does fish and chips, surely. Those lights down there are the back of the station. And there may be a fish and chip shop there. We'll go and have a look. Oh, well, you've got food to go. Closed. Village crafts. They won't have it. Could I be in luck here? No, it was another blooming pizza place. What's the matter with everybody? Friday. It's not a nice area around here. But I've only ever walked around it when it's been crowded with people. We keep looking. At last. It closed. <laughs> oh dear. Well, there were some young people back there that said there might be one up there and I know what they mean it's a bit of a walk and then they added I think they might be closing soon though oh dear you have to walk up past the 
more like a hotel which has got this little mall here some nice shops there well at least it's a nice walk up to where the fish and chip shop ought to be past the river and I think I know the place they mean it's somewhere up there we're going to have a look nice isn't it even the spa shop looks pretty fish and chips fish and chips open I've ordered my fish and chips I'm going to be sitting there and over here we have a waterfall that's nice Yep, yeah, that's me. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I must say, I enjoyed that. Lovely fish and chips. And uh, a big, big helping. And I was sitting all the time beside this river here. Now I think I'll have to go and find somewhere to have half a pint. Let's walk down the street and find somewhere. We'll cross the road here and see if we can find somewhere to have a half pint. I think probably in here. Looks like they do just drinks. Uh, you are you queuing to go in there? To get in there, right? Okay, thank you. <laughs> There's a queue over there. Where did you get in there? I don't know. Find somewhere else. Uh, there's another place here. And they have an umbrella that says Doom Bar, which is a beer. So let's go and see if there's a table and if we can have just a beer. Well, all the tables were taken there, so I don't fancy sitting inside. And this place is a hotel. Ah, I had to go back and have a whiskey oh, or a vodka mac. Vodka mac, that will do. In fact, I have got a bottle of beer. I've got a bottle of beer in the van. I'll have that. I don't know how far I've walked, but it's certainly made my hips ache like mad. And I should be really, really pleased now when I get back to the van. And oh, poor drink, proper drink, and a glass of milk. That'd be nice. It's Saturday morning, 9th of October and I'm miserable. I slept really well last night. I went and had a lovely, lovely shower just now. And then I made the phone call about this, which was supposed to be a helicopter flight over the mountains. Well, I did as it said, and I made my phone call at quarter to nine. They're postponed because of the possibility of rain and low clouds. So, uh, 
we'll have to go somewhere else though, won't we? We'll stay in Snowdonia, don't worry, but we'll stay in Snowdonia, but we'll have to think of something else to, to go. And uh, I've got a, I, I know two places. I know two places that we'll go and have a go. So, <laughs> I was so disappointed you wouldn't believe it. Anyway, I'm going to have bacon and egg for breakfast. <laughs> Smell that. I've just returned from doing the alternative to the helicopter flight and because of the things that I saw and the places that I went I decided to make this into a, a two episode video otherwise it's going to be far far too long so I hope uh, that you'll come back and find out what I did instead of flying in a helicopter <laughs> so for this time um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, if you've got anybody you can share things, these things with, I'd appreciate it. Um, and, uh, yeah, hope you come back to see episode two of Snowdonia. Bye-bye.